Are you serious? Are you serious? I have absolute unbelievable pictures of the Comet Ison, and I'm going to show them to you. They arrived by mail to me today. Literally <laughs> unbelievable, spectacular, beginning to see the view of the signs in the heavens spoken by God Jesus Christ, his son, said in, of course, Luke 21, 25. Let's get a cup of coffee. Wait till you see these pictures. I want to thank Sir William Henry of Idaho. He was able to acquire these pictures. These were taken by the, the Hubble telescope. In his letter, Sir William Henry writes to me and says, Dear Pastor Paul, I wanted to share with you and Heidi a couple of photos taken of the Comet Ison, taken with the Hubble telescope. Uh, the first photo of Ison makes it look like a large kidney bean, but then when you use the darken button and click on it four times, it gives you the appearance of a spaceship. What? What? All right, here, here we go, here, here we go. This is from the Hubble telescope. This is the uh, photos taken, sent to me by Sir William Henry. This is from the Hubble telescope. This is Ison. Ison is this big, what almost looks like a kidney as it's racing toward the sun at unbelievable speeds. That is the comet Ison. All right, and it is on its way toward the sun and will be its closest point to the sun, November 28, 29. Again, the anniversary of when Israel was voted by the United Nations to become a state, not a nation yet. That wasn't until May the 14th, 1948, but on November 29, 1947, Israel was voted to become a state for the first time in over 1900 years. Well, this is the comet Ison and will reach the sun, its closest point on that date. Now, there are some scientists that says Ison may fizzle out, but others say, oh no, it will only get brighter. The thing is about Ison, it will be so bright, it will be brighter than the moon and brighter than all the stars in the sky. And the last time a star was that bright, folks, it was the star of Bethlehem. 2,000 years ago, proclaiming to the world that a king had come. Will come at Ison, the anniversary at its brightest point of Israel becoming a state, be proclaiming to the world that a king is soon to come. But another thing you need to remember is, and also, oh, by the way, it's bringing a lot of dust with it. We're going to see the comet Ison as it goes by our earth quite a ways away from Earth, but you'll see it. And we will be able to view the comet Ison with the naked eye, even so bright you'll see it in the daytime. Uh, we'll be able to watch it through the entire uh, season of Hanukkah and Christmas. Matter of fact, it brings dust with it, enough dust uh, uh, to settle around the Earth 50 miles from the surface of the Earth, and you will see the clouds with a slight light illumination for 40 days. It will lead us right into the four blood moon cycle, starting on Passover of 2014. Something biblical is going on. Now, before I show you the next picture, which is unbelievable, let's read what the scripture says about it. Jesus said in Luke 21, verse 25, he said, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars. And upon the earth, well, distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Now, 
I show you again, this is the actual printed photograph picture taken by the uh, Hubble telescope of the comet Ison. Unbelievable. Now, let me show you what Ison looks like, the exact same picture. But if you click the button on uh, uh, where the photograph's taken from the Hubble telescope, if you click the dark button four times, it takes away a lot of this illumination because you can see how bright it is. So if you, if you darken that four times, uh, Sir William Henry of Idaho sent me the picture. Here it is, a printed copy of it. This is what Ison looks like. There you see the, um, the sun way back there. I believe that's the sun way back there. And I notice there's a little dot by the sun too. And a lot of times during the daytime we see that. I don't know if that's Venus. I'm not sure. But this is the, now again, you can see the kidney looking shape around the comet Ison. But why, when you darken it four times, why does the comet Ison look like a spaceship? Or as my wife said, turn it this way, Paul. It looks evil. Is it because it's coming 666 years after the comet Negra? Bringing the bubonic plague upon the earth? Is it? So, is this comet not only telling us... Remember something. What happened? Uh, give me one second here. My, my other screen went dark, which is affecting the lighting here. One second. The... Remember something, when the star of Bethlehem appeared, God was saying to the world, a savior is born, a king has come. But King Herod saw this sign in the sky as something totally different. He didn't see the star of Bethlehem, starlight, star bright in the sky, proclaiming a savior had come. He didn't see it as glory. He's seen it as a threat to his kingdom, his earthly kingdom. So he went around and slaughtered all the babies in the land of Israel under the age of two. So this, the, the star of Bethlehem not only brought the proclamation to the world of a savior, but it also brought about the slaughter of the innocent. Now, so when, when the, when, the world seen the star, they seen the beautiful star that was Bethlehem. Or when I see this comet, I see the comet Ison and all of its glory. And it's, it's a, a, a apocalyptic time to show up just on time when you look at all the distress of nations and perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring, the earthquakes and all of the uh, moral decay and look what's going on in the Middle East and all the things. I see, though, the sign of the soon coming King, soon coming King Jesus. But Satan may see it as a time to bring the Antichrist to the scene. Are you serious? Are you serious? Again, it's the same exact picture. Same exact picture. Hang on a second. I want to affect the lighting here on it because it's off my other screen there. Okay. It's the same exact picture of the comet. As you can see the, uh, the kidney shape. But when you darken it, to take away a lot of that illumination, it's got three D definitive lights is it does it look to you like a spaceship or does it look to you like an evil being or does it look to you like a powerful comet illumination I'm going to leave this for you all to just kind of toss around and uh, there's no question we're seeing signs in the heavens. 
There's no question we're seeing different things that we've never seen before. I don't believe in aliens, but I do believe in demons. And I think a lot of these alien abductions are really people being abducted and victimized by demon spirits. And the Bible told us that these things would come to pass in the last days. So we'll leave it. We'll leave it up. So, so when you say, do you believe in alien forms? Well, yeah, aliens would be the fallen angels or the demon spirits that have come to torture man. And uh, a lot of things are being manifested. But one thing I want to say to you, and I can say with a surety, the signs in the heavens are pointing to the coming of the Lord. Yes, but at the same time, the Antichrist is also going to rise. The devil knows the word of God, folks. Don't think he don't. He believes even in Jesus, and he trembles. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Just call upon the name of the Lord. Repent of your sins. Let's get saved. I want to help you do that. Send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel. Entitle it, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved.